I don't need your billions of dollars. Give me Biafra. Nam the Colonel tells British government, hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. For some time now, you can agree with me that Mazen Namdekano has continued to remain in DSS custody after a different court upon court as the so-called Janjawi terrorist government to release him. But because British government has continued to aid the Fulani terrorist government, and they have continued to tell them to keep him in DSS custody. And this is why you can see Mazen Nandekano has continued to remain in DSS custody. British government believes that they are wiser than every other person. And for this, they think they can bribe anybody. But for so long, they have continued to go secretly to confuse Mazenam the Kano to drop their fragitation. Upon that, this gentleman has continued to turn them down. Do you know the reason why? I have to tell you. It's because of you. Because he doesn't want to betray you. Because he believes in what he's doing is right. Because so. He believes that you are with him and for this he don't even mind to give his life to achieve Biafra for you and I. And this is the more reason why all of you, whatever you are, must stand by him. We must fight for him but not doing something that will bring bad name to him. No. We must fight for him and fight for the restoration of Biafra at the same time. But not going around the causing problem that will make the so-called useless British government and their useless counterpart called Nigerian government to continue to detain him for no reason. All oh, the instruction has been given to lead that gentleman. But they are trying to find fault. Mazen Nandekano told the British government and Nigerian government that he will get Biafra with him. A single word of his mouth, he will dismantle Nigeria. And that he has done for so long. And he has continued to do, even as he is right here in DSS custody. You can see how the soldiers are going around the Nibo land, killing our people in killing spray. Aided by Igbo soldiers too, and our so-called governors. Something that they cannot do in the north. They were told not to attack Flani hence men, and they have continued to do that. The Igbo soldiers cannot ask themselves why. But they have continued to listen to their useless experience and the Soko governors to men our brothers and sisters in Igbo land. Why they are at it? Trying to get fought. The so-called British government secretly are pleading with Martin Nam, they cannot to drop their fragitation. They think we are stupid. And he has continued to tell them that he will never, that over his dead body. Why we are saying this, if everybody to know this, because in case anything happened to that guy, British government believe they can ride on every other person and go free with it, but they will not go free in this one. We are going to, did I say we are? I personally is going to use some people to cause commotion that even some people will not believe that this guy who has been hidden for some time is the one doing this. What did the gentleman do? He has a right to decide what he wants. He has also a right to fight for 
the freedom of his people if they like him and want him to do so and as far as I'm concerned the people likes him and they want him to do so whatever he's doing today is because the people of Biafra want it to be so though some of them like few percent may be arguing not because they don't believe in Biafra struggle but because of the things that Nigerian government are doing by going around and killing spray and when they do they will come out to lie from the other side of their mouth by claiming that it was IPOB everything they are doing is to make sure that they continue to turn that gentleman in DSS custody and we all know this and this is why I have continued to say that anybody that is doing whatever he's doing should make sure it's not something that we continue to implicate the issue if you have been with British the, one of some of their most intelligent you will understand the way they reason someone like me have worked with them live with them parley with them and I know how they reason this is why I have continued to say before they make a step I know what they are doing before they plan to continue to keep Martin Ham the Kano in DSS custody after the Comte Court of Law in that social contraction has said let him go I know that their plans is to continue to see if they can convince Martin Ham the Kano to drop the agitation but hey man that breath agitation has gone too far to be stopped so no matter what you do you can never convince Martin Ham the Kano to stop the agitation he is prepared for this he was prepared for this the God who sent him prepared him for this and no human being born of a woman can stop him and we we stand by him till the end anybody doing anything to frustrate this struggle in time to come we see the other side of us all a country that after the so-called independence date people has continued to suffer fuck such country I don't need it I don't need it. I need in a place where I will be. My children will not suffer. They will work hard and make their ends meet. It's me. Not a country where people will continue to frustrate each other. Not a country where some people will come from pit of hell to kill innocent people in their own indigenous land as if they are the owner of the land dragging the land with someone else. Enough is enough. Those who know British government like I do should warn them to do the nephew. They are deviating from what they are so called of. Grandfather, Lord Lugar told them to do because of selfishness of oil and gas and resources. Enough of this rubbish. Mas Namdekal must be released before that useless election. Hm. I've said it before. <laughs> both those who want to destroy and those who want amend will not allow you to continue keeping Mazenam the Khan incommunicado for no reason and you will be busy doing election I think I've come to the end of this news Jay Biafra